Hello children today we shall go through lesson 11 challenges and development of independent india dear children a country india became independent on 15th august 1947 so the first day of independence was celebrated with great zeal and enthusiasm while india found itself independent from the british it was still to find independence from social economic and political problems that had started to become a rock in the way of its growth let's find out what were the immediate problems of independent india and how these problems were solved the problems of refugees After the partition of India thousands of Hindu Sikh and Muslim refugees came to India from Pakistan for this Indian government spent millions of rupees to provide them houses and lands the next problem was the problem of integration of the princely states with the Indian Union There were 562 princely states in the country at the time of partition. Our first deputy prime minister Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, the then Union Home Minister, merged most of the princely states into India with great insight. Let's poop. Now Pakistan's attack on India. also created a new problem for our country immediate after independence the pakistani kabali tribes invaded kashmir and took control over one third part of it indian troops drove away the tribes from kashmir in this way Kashmir became the integral part of India. After this a new problem arose before us that was economic problem. After independence most of the irrigated areas of our country that produced wheat and jute became a part of Pakistan. Due to the increase of population about 340 million We faced the problem of food shortage. On this, to increase the production, zamindari system was abolished. Lands were given to the farmers. Now we shall know about the challenges of governance. After independence, although India became free, but still it was following the rules of the British government. so to make a sovereign state the constituent assembly framed the constitution of india the president of the drafting committee was dr bhim rao ambedkar and the indian constitution was completed on 26 november 1949 and it was implemented on 26 january 1950 In this way India became a republic. We had successfully merged most of the princely states into India. But the problem of merging foreign colonies into India was still there. Even after independence, the Portuguese had control over Goa, Daman, Dive, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. and pondicherry whereas chandranagar mahe and karaikal were under the french possession the french government handed over puducherry chandranagar mahe and karaikal in 1954 ad but the portuguese handed over goa daman deep Dadra and Nagar Haveli on 20th September 1961 after military action now the entire territory from Kashmir to Kanyakumari 
became a part of India. After overcoming these problems, there were some more problems in our society, such as illiteracy, unemployment, and socio-economic disparities. For this, the Indian government constituted the Planning Commission on 15th March 1950. The era of five-year plans had begun with the Planning Commission. The first five-year plan was implemented on 1st April 1951. In 2014 AD, the Government of India dissolved the Planning Commission and launched the Niti Ayok in 2015-80. Now, the development plans are being prepared by Niti. So children, these were some of the challenges that we have discussed. And we found that India faced these challenges with great skill. That's all for today children. Goodbye.